What up, chat? How we all doing? Dog wants out of the room. Of course he wants out of the room. Of course he does. Tell me kind of hurting right now. For the record, I almost just knocked my water over. I would have actually ended stream. If I knocked my water over on my desk, I would have actually ended stream. That's the thing about it. Just for the record, for the record, there's some stuff going on, so I might be checking my phone a couple times, just until a situation is resolved, but that's okay. That is okay. Why? Oh, why? My stream elements bot doesn't want to work. confused about it does that come to work no <clears throat> Okay. I gotta figure out why the stream elements bot don't work. Alrighty. So 
I think it's time. I think it's time for us to discuss something. It's time for us to 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 talk about something. Um I think it's time for us to have a little chit chat with chat. What a fun what a fun little thing. It's it's Revels' chit chat with chat time. <laughs> time to chit chat with chat. I've got this huge array of just dead pixels on my left monitor and it's insane. Anyways, anyways, chat, how we doing? How's it going? Low key trying to figure out I'll worry about that. I'll worry about that later. I'll worry about the I'll I'll worry about the the what's it called? I'll worry about the the stream elements bot later down the line. Um cuz I want to talk about something. I want to talk about about something that's that's been going on that you have most definitely noticed. And it's it is it is physically impossible. It is physically impossible for you to either be in this stream right now or be watching this YouTube video and not notice what's been going on. So essentially uh 14 I got to find music. So essentially 14 days ago I made a little switchy witchy. I was streaming on Twitch and 14 days ago today 14 days ago to the day October 3rd I made the decision to switch to live streaming on YouTube. Now Admittedly, this did come in the wake of this came in the wake of an announcement from Twitch about this came in the wake of a Twitch announcement about creator rev splits and all of all of that good good that happened and I I gotta scroll back and find it because I wasn't ready for this. There it is. Okay. So um so yeah, Twitch Twitch put out an announcement and I made a video about it. I made a video about my perspective as a small Twitch streamer on everything going on twitch versus youtube and in this video i said i said premium costs 11.99 a month which is so many people watch things on mobile okay i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be able to find it but i said open and honestly given all the problems that are that are on on Twitch and given all the problems on YouTube that Twitch is a great platform. I loved it. I love Twitch. It'll always hold a special place in my heart as I'm sure it does with many people, but YouTube sounded fun. So on October 3rd, 2022, I made the switch new platform means a new game on October 3rd was my first official YouTube live stream now I won't lie it started same old same old right it was just us it was it was just me playing slime rancher and then scroll, scrolling through a reddit pretty normal content um so that's that's that was the switch I made 14 days ago. 
Since then, I have streamed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. This is going to be live stream number eight on YouTube. So I've streamed eight times in the last 14 days. So I want to talk about what the experience has been like, what I've liked so far, what I haven't liked so far, and just some some things I've I've noticed, some things I have picked up on. So first and foremost, let's cover the things I've liked up until this point. Some things I have liked about YouTube Live. I like having a lot of my content centralized. Now, I know from almost like from a business perspective, that's really dumb and everyone tells you to diversify, but this isn't a business. This is not a business we're talking about, okay? We're talking about live streaming and it is inherently harder to get people to switch platforms. That is a hard thing to accomplish. So, having all of my stuff from long form content like lives to... I guess I would call it medium form content like a YouTube video to short form content like YouTube shorts, having it all condensed into literally just YouTube has been, I would say it's been pretty beneficial overall. Just, just so we're all aware, I would say it's been, it's been pretty beneficial, right? I mean, this is, these are my YouTube stats over the course of the last two weeks since I've started live streaming. I've gotten 27,500 views, 190 watch hours, and 36 more subscribers. Now, a lot of that, I think, can also be allotted to YouTube Shorts, but I would say, because I had been threatening to do YouTube Shorts for such a long time... I think me live streaming on YouTube in a weird way was like the catalyst for the shorts to come about. And I think it's it went it's going well. It's going well. A lot of them are doing well. A lot of these views are shorts. But nonetheless, that is a big plus seeing numbers go up. Um yeah, it says here that 98% of my views come from shorts within this two-week time period, but that's okay. I've, I'm also seeing, though, and there's no way to filter it on here. There's no way to filter it here for you to see it, but in general, if we go to my content, I am seeing, like, is Kanye okay? 30 views. Mario Party, 5 views. Goat of Peggle, 65 these two kind of flopped. Uh, what happened to Minecraft Dungeons? 63. So I think the logic is holding that it is much easier to get people to stay within a specific platform. Because ever since I started doing YouTube Lives, I think my videos have done consistently better. I think... I think my videos have done consistently better since switching to YouTube Live. And I think a big part of that has to deal with the way the YouTube algorithm works. In that my co-host was fucking cringe. Yeah, a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. But I think a lot of a lot of this growth, this sudden growth I'm seeing has to do with the way the YouTube algorithm works, where the more people you can get watching your content, the different ways, um, the more, the more people you can get watching your content in different ways for longer proves beneficial because YouTube likes that. So having one person lurking in the stream does really well because then YouTube will push the stream and it's things like that, right? Or having having a YouTube short that literally having a YouTube short that has an over 100% average watch time, YouTube really likes that. 
or having videos that randomly do 300% better. YouTube really likes these things. And keeping everything on the same platform, keeping everything on the same platform allows that to happen. Now, some things that I'm noticing on YouTube gaming that I haven't liked so far. Because I think previously, previously I was an outsider looking in at the things I don't like, but now I'm in it. I'm in the sauce of it. Let's talk about the things I don't like so far about YouTube gaming as, as a small streamer. So these are going to be very much so like small streamer things um, that I've noticed that I think even Twitch did that benefited me personally. And the first thing is, the first thing is, here's the first thing. I can just see my concurrent viewers and it just says zero, right? So with concurrent viewers set to zero, it's hard to argue that that doesn't ruin the morale of the stream. Because... It's really hard looking over to see if there's a chat message and it just has a big goose egg on the viewers. Like that kind of sucks. And one that's one thing Twitch does really well is they allow you to just hide that. So you don't know how many viewers that you are streaming to at any point. You don't know how many viewers you're streaming to at any point. So it in a way promotes you to always be pushing the best content possible versus letting the viewer count affect how the stream goes because it does. I think if you've ever done a live stream to say that seeing how many viewers you have does not affect the energy is insane and you're wrong or lying to yourself. And I would minimize it, but I need to be able to see the excellent connection thing to know to know whether or not the stream's about to be taken down. So that's that's I think so far that's my biggest gripe is I I came so accustomed to not having to see my my concurrent viewers. Other things I haven't really liked so far. Other things I haven't really liked. I don't like the way the category system works. Now, I think this might be just a personal dig, but I think you should, like, you can't list no category. Your your YouTube live stream has to be within one of these categories, and the categories are weird because, like, it says, like, gaming, right? But I'm not gaming, but I feel like that just fits the overall vibe better. So I choose gaming, but I'm not playing a game. So then I don't, I don't list a game there. So now when you go to the live stream, I don't know. Part of me feels as if that, that kind of ruins the stream getting promoted. If, if you're looking at it. And it literally doesn't have a game, but it's in the gaming category. I feel like that might mess with it being promoted or not. I'm not really sure. So I think those are my two biggest gripes with how it's, you know, how it's been streaming on YouTube so far. Now, some things that I've noticed, and this is going to kind of go back to um, that first video I made, the, the Twitch versus YouTube video. And I just want to say, open and honest right now, I was wrong. I thought it would be harder for a YouTube live stream to get noticed versus a Twitch live stream. But in these last 28 days, I have had the single largest stream I've ever done, which is 80 uniques. 80 unique viewers when I played Mario Party Superstars and I think it is I think it's safe to say I think it's safe to say that I that the same thing the same thing would not have happened on Twitch I think it's safe to say the same thing would not have happened on Twitch because right now 
There are only 95 people watching the whole category. So I think it's pretty safe to say that I would not have had that big of a stream just playing Mario Party. Um something else I've noticed and this kind of go this kind of loops us loops us back around to the main point which is I'm noticing a huge spike in in like viewership and subscribership and watch time and literally every measurable metric on YouTube I'm I am noticing a huge uptick. So all in all all in all, how do I feel as a as a small content creator, as a small streamer, as a small YouTuber, as literally like a drop in the bucket compared, not even a drop in the bucket, like a drop of a drop in a bucket compared to some of the streamers switching over to YouTube that are bigger. How do I feel about it? I feel pretty good, to be honest, all in all. I feel pretty good. I don't know what about it is different. I don't know what about streaming on YouTube is so different. But all in all, I feel good about it. I think I feel good about the Switch. And the main reason, and I brought this up. Because me and my girlfriend, we were on the phone. Like, the weekend before... I switched, right? So I made the video. We were on FaceTime like the next night and I brought up a good point. I think it's a good point. One, my heart just says stream on YouTube. Like aside from the rev split, aside from the higher bit, right? Aside from all of the, all of the classic reasons somebody would switch to streaming on YouTube, my heart just was kind of leading me in that direction. And... I've noticed specifically with content creation, I tend, like my heart tends to be in the right place, right? When it comes to like even the name of my channel, um, cause I've been making content forever. Five years ago, I asked my friend, Hey, should I start streaming on Twitch instead of just making YouTube videos? And he said, no, Twitch is really only for the hottest games. So unless you're going to play the newest COD, it's not worth it. Just play let's just make youtube videos five years later look where streaming is so my heart has yet to lead me astray i think the only thing that leads me astray is my brain listening to outside perspectives so my heart said go to youtube and then the other thing was the other thing was this was the crossroads i found myself at which was do i want to do i want to a, keep streaming on Twitch, even though it is on such a steep downward path where it's only saving grace at this point is Twitch Primes, even though they're probably going to get rid of them at some point. Do I, do I ride this ship until it sinks into the ground and then hop ships to YouTube? Or B, do I just accept YouTube for its faults and understand that it has more growth opportunity? I think it has more growth opportunity than Twitch does and kind of like a like a get in early kind of thing, you know? Like do I get in early on YouTube or do I ride the Twitch ship until it literally sinks itself into the ground? And I decided get it on YouTube early. And I think so far it's been a good time. I've enjoyed it so far. Because I think all in all I've here's here's final analysis switching from Twitch to YouTube. I feel good about it. The YouTube stats are doing better. I think the minuses are so minuscule and I I think the only thing that isn't coming down the pipeline maybe maybe would be the concurrent viewership showing thing. I think that is the only thing potentially not coming down the pipeline, but it would be really cool if it was. But anyways, all in all, uh, this was kind of a ranty video. I wanted one that was low edit because I spent so much time editing the Bulbapedia video.
please go watch that. I put I put so many hours of editing into that one. Um, so go watch that one. Check it out. I wanted something that was low edit. And I realized it was two weeks since I've started streaming on YouTube. So I did want to do like a big recap. Um, and I think it's I think it's a good switch. And I really do think this is this and in in the words of Troy and Gabriella from high school music, I think this is the start of something new. And I think this is the start of something exciting. So uh, if you made it all the way through the video, like if you liked, if you liked it enough, subscribe. Um comment something down below. Comment comment pee pee poo poo brain down below if you made it through the whole video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Also chat, another another thing I didn't bring up was the excellent connection thing is great because it immediately tells me whether or not a part of my stream will get the whole VOD copyright claim. And the same goes for the YouTube video later. So if I see the excellent connection thing turn yellow, I know I have to stop listening to whatever music I'm listening to and then cut that part out of the YouTube video and the YouTube video will do fine. Then the, like the YouTube video will do fine. So that's good. That helps. Also, is my voice that raspy? Is my voice like super raspy? Hi, Athena. Because when I do this, when I when I put my headphones on, my voice sounds like super raspy to me. So yeah, I just wanted a rant video, dude. Just wanted a rant video. How did I end up on a a thing that wasn't my stream playlist? This is the start of something new. It feels so wrong to be here with you. Should I make a community post? Let's make a community post, chat. Um, YouTube Studio. Let's post. I got community posting. Pog, you first post. Go watch new new video. Community post created. I'm waiting on YouTube to message me that I can choose my handle. I really got to be able to choose my handle. Oh, new comment, bug you. Goaded vid, cringe your opponent didn't have a timer on screen. We'll get a rematch going soon. The lack of a timer was cringe indeed. 
but we make do anyways. Defo rematch in the future. I was, um, I was editing the video and I do have, I do have some rule edits I want to make to the Bulbapedia speedruns. Like I think, um, I think like going to the move set is fine. You just can't use the actual list of Pokemon. I think that's what I meant to say in the video, but I kind of fucked it. I won't lie. Like, I think like if you went to like this page, like you could go to like generation eight, right? Or you could go to like move, right? But you couldn't like go to like Squirtle from here, right? Like, you couldn't use the learn sets, but you could use the other information. I think that's what I meant. And then the other... The other edited rule I thought about was if we go to, like, Cubone. Like, this is what I was thinking about when I was editing last night. I think we should ban this. I think we should ban Pokedex entries. Because you can literally... Hard jump to any any game. And I feel like that takes the fun out of it. I feel like that takes a little bit of the fun out of it. If you can literally just hard jump to any game. You know what I mean? Because we both did it fairly frequently where we were like, oh, we need to get to Crown Shine. Well, that's, you know, from Cubone. Well, that's in Sun and Moon. So I'll just go to Cubone's Moon entry. And then there's, you know, and then it's like, oh, then there's, you know, Crown Tundra. Stuff like that. Or rather, it's like, oh, okay, let's go to, you know, the shield entry. And then you go to, like, Crown Tundra. And then Crown Tundra. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that... That's a little too busted, if you ask me. If you ask me, that's a little too broken. Being able to just jump through Pokedex entries. That's the same reason why, like, I banned, like, the national decks. Right? Because you can just go to like, like you can literally just find a list of Pokemon. And that is the exact reason why I banned that. Because it allows you to hard jump through like literally anything on Bulbapedia. So those are, those were rule things that I thought of. Um... So, we can use the new pages, just not make them fast, which is what I think I meant when I said. like on the sorry I'm 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 typing out what I just said hydro pump page could go to generation eight but not use the Pokemon list and also no using dex entries those bitches busted <laughs> They are busted. Because literally every Pokemon has a Dex entry for every game. It's actually easy peasy. Oh. 
Okay. Um, I gotta cover my dragon. Gotta cover the dragon. And then we're gonna play. We're gonna play. Um, trombone champion. Viola. I'm gonna put retired viola player plays trombone. What what is what is the name of someone that plays the viola? A violist? A violist. That sounds wrong. Violist plays trombone. Camp. Let's just nab this screenshot real quick. Trombone. Change. Quick thumbnail change. Uh, gotta cover the dragon now. Sorry, I was distracted by sushi. Okay.
Oh, come on. I set this up last night. There we go. Alright. I think it's time for us to check out Trombone Champ. Oh my god, it's loud. Holy moly. Oh my god. And so it comes to pass. Ages after the twin vessels were forged, a new soul appears. Brave soul, one day you will stand before two baboons. What? One day you will rend the very fabric that binds this land. But until that day comes, you must toot. Toot your trombone, brave soul, and you may yet become the trombone champ. I want to be the trombone champ. Chad, I want to be the trombone. Oh. Oh, shit. Turn this shit down. I can't. Can I not turn the... <sighs> it actually isn't letting... Oh, there we go. <clears throat> it, like, wasn't letting me turn down the volume. <laughs> Let's get it to a decent volume. I think this is a I think this is a decent volume for the game to be at. Maybe even a little higher. There we go. All right. I have I don't know what this game's about. I have no clue what this game's about. I played the viola in the fifth grade. That's pretty much a trombone, right? I do know that it is a trombone-based uh, rhythm game. And I've always sucked at Guitar Hero. So I'm hoping I can redeem myself with Trombone Champ. Alright. I have no clue how to play. Let's play. Start with the warm up. Okay. Hopefully, it teaches me how to play the game. Okay, there we go. Move the mouse forward and back. Wait. Move. Move the mouse forward and back to move the slide. Line up the dot with the note lines. Okay. Or press the left mouse button or any letter keys to toot. Using the keyboard may be easier on your wrist. And I have carpal tunnel, so we're going to do that. If you play well, you build combos and increase your champ meter. This is how you get big points. Watch the breath meter. If you hold a note for too long, you'll run out of breath. Most of all, have fun. No, no. That's not the most important thing. The most important thing is winning. I didn't know it was going to be reversed. Well, why am I kind of spit? I love the little 
Oh, I got an A on the first one. Let's go. I earned 329 toots. Okay. So now what? I just go to the next. Is this the hardest one in the game? So if I beat it, I'm goaded, right? If I beat this one, I'm just goaded. Yo, I'm popping off. How long is this song? We gotta retry. I gotta retry. I gotta retry. I had to have done better that time. I had to have done better that time. Come on. Come on. Okay. All right. Third time's the charm, baby. I'm get I'm getting an S on this one. S plus even. They're going to make a new grade for me. That's a restart. I keep forgetting the controls are reversed. Ha 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 ha!
if that was a new high score or not. I guess it was, right? Yeah, it was. Okay. Let's try something a little easier, maybe. Maybe we go to ball game. <laughs> the first trombone was invented before humanity. I only got a B? Oh my god. Let's try again. I gotta get an A. Uh, I had to have done better. I had to have done better. Only a B? What do you mean only a B? This is ridiculous. We gotta try again. We got. I gotta try again. I gotta try again. <laughs> I see your chat message, can't read it. I'm too focused on playing the trombone. What 
just have to know exactly how I got here, and I have no regrets. Anyways, through the f is through the fire and the flames on here? <gasps> no way. Let's get the stream taken down. Let's get the stream taken down. Through the fire and the flames. Through the fire and the flames. It's a mod? Oh. Sag. Sag, it's a mod. <sighs> so what am I doing wrong? Maybe we go back to the warm-up. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. End to end, they would wrap around the solar system four times. Something tells me those facts aren't too accurate. <laughs> Come on, give me give me a new high school. Give me what am I doing wrong? What? Through the fire and the flames modding discord in the description? What? Hang on. Is it this? Is this it? This is what you're talking about? I want to see this happen. Good enough for that? It gets worse? No, it, nope, nope. Anyways, back to the, the, the warm up map.
what's happening? Oh, uh, we're, we're, we're trombone champing. Is, was that not obvious? I am realizing now that's a bad place for the camera to be. What if we went bottom right? <laughs> I didn't realize where the camera was. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Is that better? Bro, Eminem would go crazy on this track. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. Ooh, coffee pot so hot. I lost my spot in line at the DMV. Rode through the front window, she can't see. That's those Eminem bars right there. Okay, I think I'm warmed up. What do I spend my toots on? What do you spend toots on? <laughs> the character's name is Hornlord. How do I unlock stuff? There are lyrics at the bottom, obviously you have to sing them, that's the secret. I literally... I... I literally am not capable of that. I am... I am not capable of... I need four S's? Oh no... Oh, I need four S's. We're going back to the warm up. We got to go back to the warm up. happy you happy why'd I pop off why'd I pop off singing it <laughs> Zara thrust is an easy one you say that you say Zara thrust is easy but you gotta understand I couldn't ask here the warm-up but we'll try it we'll try Zara thrusta Keeps you on beat. The 
Singing does? That's fair. That's fair to say. How you read the lyrics, they went so fast. I popped off. I think I think I can get an S tier on this one. I think I think I can actually I have the capacity to get S tier on this one. I just gotta feel the vibe. Ready? Already at 100 subs. Well, you have the ability. You single handedly have the ability to not only make it 100, but 101. You can be. The one and only one hundred and first subscriber. I wasn't looking at the screen. Come on, come on. Oh my God. Oh my god. Shorts give views, man. Shorts give views. First is the worst, second is the best, and that's a tale of all this time. If I go this whole night without getting a single S tier on a on a single track, I will be very upset. I feel like this I stand the best chance at this one. Oh, that's a rough start. That's a rough start. Two, 
one. It's so beautiful. Uh, how do the controls work? I literally am moving up and down on the mouse and holding down left click. That's it. That's the extent of the controls. That's the best way for it to be. Oh my god. I need to... Is there a way to invert the controls? Up, down, not inverted. I think that's what I needed. I think that's what I needed. Watch this. Watch this. Up, down, not inverted, I pop off. Inverted controls always get me. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is so free now. Okay, this is the first round with the not inverted controls. This doesn't count. You think this is the Osu killer? Think bigger. Guitar hero killer. This game will put Guitar Hero in its place. And I stand by that statement. I have to stop looking at things that aren't this screen. How do you get S? Do you have to get every note right to get S? That's insane. It was all fun and games until we had a goal. Oh, I'd have to fill the chant bar. I'm, I'm learning now that it doesn't have to be perfectly on the circle. That gets me a perfect, but I don't always need a perfect. A nice will do. Okay, come on. That's got to be an S. That's got to be an S. We did it! 
Chat, you were here. You were here, chat. That's S plus right there. You're right. If that's not S plus, I don't know what is. Oh, you get a cool little star? Let's go back to warm up. What time is it? We got 15 minutes. 15 minutes to make it happen. We can do happy birthday after this. But now I need my trap move. That's got to be an S. Oh, I almost cracked a milli. I almost cracked a milli on that one. Where's the happy birthday song? Where'd happy birthday go? Happy birthday. The scary. A remixed happy birthday? What was that? Okay. Okay. Call me crazy. Kylie Ray Jensen. Kylie Ray Jensen. Call me crazy. B's a dub. But we shoot higher. We shoot. For the stars. We shoot. Imagine if you had happy as two notes rather than the glissando. That's why are you talking about glizzies. I'm so confused. That's what I thought it'd be. Excuse me. We shoot higher. I think in the next 10 minutes. We can get S tier. I think 
it threw me through the ringer at first. There was one part where I really messed up. I think S tier is possible. I immediately lost the channel. Wait, imagine if you had happy as two notes rather than... Oh, okay. I now need a hot dog in my trombone. That's what she said. Okay, chat. Glissando is when you slide mid-note. Okay, that makes sense. So if it was like birthday instead of birthday... I got you. I got you. I understand music. This is insanity. This is what the seventh ring of hell is like, actually. I regret to inform you, this is what the seventh ring of hell is actually like. My brother asked me, what am I playing? Trombone champ. What do you mean? Trombone champ. Obviously. What do you mean, what am I playing? I'm playing trombone champion. I'm the champion of the trombones. Cubone is my champion. I am the champion of the trombones. Therefore, Cubone is the champion of the trombones.
not let does it let you get away with not letting go of the button like that? Yeah, I've noticed I can actually just not let go. I just don't get like perfects. Anyways, as as a farewell. It does have a freestyle mode actually. Look, free and provision. But be for birthday exactly. We're gonna go back to Jarabe Tapatillo, the Mexican hat dance. One time for the one. See if we can get better than a C. Back to where it all started. Obliterated our last high score. Where is my cursor at? There it is. Ooh. I think that's a good a nose ever to end on. Holy shit. B for best tromboner. I agree. I am officially the best trombone player to ever live. Anyways, chat. It is about that time of the night. Time to say good night, but also good tomorrow. Had a lot of fun. Um, what's tomorrow? Tuesday. We're gonna be streaming tomorrow. I don't know what we're doing yet. We might play more trombone, and then something else. Maybe even two other things. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna buy the flag. Buy that tomorrow. Make sure you're for that. Um, I'm gonna let you guys choose the flag. I just, I like, I have a list of options, and I'm gonna let you guys choose. Could go great, could go terribly. Just make sure you're here for that. We're gonna do something else, and then maybe more trombone. Champion. I don't know. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta see you guys tomorrow. Peace.